Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to the Pound Game TV. This is a positive channel centered around cannabis for all adults. I am your host KB and today, as I told you in uh, a previous video, that I was going to reset all my mothers and these 12 plants right here are the reset mothers. I have gotten rid of all plants indoors. There are no plants uh, inside. These are all my mothers. and. I was going to take them for a breeding project, but I'm I'm going to have to uh, hold off on that. And these girls are getting big, except for this one. She's going to go back inside, so let's take her in. All right, Sherbert, get well, baby. Not happy. Get well. Anyway, so let's get into the video. This is potting soil, and you see it's in a 32-gallon trash can. Uh, I've already used that potting soil. This is some compost that I made in 2015 and I made it in the backyard. I showed you a video in this compost bin right here is where I made that compost. Anyway, we're going to make six gallons of it. We're going to take three gallons of the compost and we're also going to take three gallons of the used potting soil. And just to let you know, you got to get any organic matter out of there that has not been broken down because it will heat up your pots if you mix it in your in your potting soil. And that's not good for the plants. So take that out, but leave the worms. Anyway, so we're going to take a cup of the Rainbow Mix Grow that we use for our grow formula. Pour that right in. We're going to take a cup of Biochar. Got it from Build a Soil pour that right in and we're gonna take two tablespoons of Montana Grove fertilizer this is uh, uh, silica so that you can grow huge healthy roots and also it makes the um, plants really strong and then also we're gonna put in two tablespoons of this Anasazi gold this is also uh, to promote huge healthy roots and uh, they are humates so anyway let's mix this all together and you want to do a thorough job this just video purposes taking our two pots we're gonna fill them about a third of the way up and we're gonna go over to our plants and grab our double OG sour diesel and do it for this particular part of the video so already transplanted in you see to the left, I'll zoom in in a second on that worm because there's already worms in all my dirt. And I took, I actually took a video previously of where I got these worms in this pot or in this bucket. So here it is. Okay, guys, this is where I get my worms to put in my pots. So as you guys know, I'm always putting uh, uh, worms in my pots. But um, I've only bought worms two times, and I bought 2,000 from uh, Uncle Jim's. Oh, look at this. These potato bugs are going crazy, but this is where I get my worms. So um, you should never have to buy worms more than, more than once. Um, all these pots are completely full of worms from that, those two times that I bought them. And it's just because I constantly feed with uh, my mulch layer and, and my pots never go dry. Uh, that will ensure lots and lots of worms in your pots. But look at this. I'll just move this stuff. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Look at that. The more I go down, but all this is worm castings. Let's get a Obviously you see some other particles, but the little fine black pieces are all worm casting. So that's what's going to go on the, uh, in the new pots. Alright, so we're just going to take a handful of this stuff and just put it right on top. As a matter of fact, we're going to do two handfuls. We already did one, as you see. There's already tons of worms. So the next thing you want to do is... Uh, 
you know, you got your worms inoculated already in there, so you got to feed those things. You can't just throw worms on top and expect them to do do all the work for you. So you got to feed them with a mulch layer. And uh, you guys, you got to check out my videos because I tell you where I get my mulch layer. My mulch layer comes right out of my backyard. I don't buy anything special. You see the little spiky little balls that I'm plucking out of there. Look. I've already got worms in my mulch layer uh, because I pull pull that that stuff that's sitting in there out of the yard and you see there's different worms in there it's red wigglers and night crawlers so uh, you know you got your diversity there and you just want to fill up your pots you want to have a good couple inches on on your pots these little spiky balls that fall out of the tree the worms love to crawl in those little holes that's why you see me spin them around like that anyway fill it right on up and then next thing we're gonna do is take some hybrix and this is molasses we're gonna take two tablespoons of that we're gonna take one tablespoon of soluble mycorrhizae that's water soluble mycorrhizae and we're gonna give each one of these pots about a half a gallon and you want to pay attention to the weight that you um, when you water your um, with the the mulch layer on because that mulch layer will divert the water and you'll have dry spots it, on you know right under the surface of of that mulch layer so you got to make sure that it uh, it thoroughly penetrates your mulch layer and gets your soil moist because that's the only thing you really care about all right so yeah half a gallon a piece and the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and top the all the plants every single branch I don't care if if it has a dominant um, apex I'm popping these things right off because what you want is to multiply basically you're gonna bush your plants out so I took the one off and it leaves the two uh, Fishing Dude 420 suggested that I use this takedown spray at 1% 1, 1 solution because, um, you know, I do have bugs on these plants. I'll show you some, some damage here. Um, we've got some thrip damage right here. You can see that's what thrip damage looks like. And then over here on this other plant, we've got some spider mite damage. The gold dust that that uh, fishing dude 420 was talking about—that's that. And so, those are those are all the pots. So I just want to spray the bottoms, and you know this stuff will kill a lot of things. So you want to be sure not to get too much into your pots. And then that's it. We're gonna we're gonna um, let these guys relax in these pots in these new pots and uh, see what happens in about 10 to 14 days have a good day everyone